Two House Republicans want to know exactly how much the Biden administration is spending on the ongoing border crisis. Some estimates put the U.S. government spending as high as $60 million per week. That's just to house the record number of unaccompanied minors who are crossing the southern border. Meanwhile, the vice president has pledged $310 million in additional humanitarian aid for Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador in an effort to stem the tide of migration from those countries to the United States. That's a lot of money, U.S. taxpayers' money to foreign governments, to foreign countries. Well, let's talk about this with former DHS Oversight Counsel Mike Howell. Mike, thanks for joining me. Hey, right, thanks for having me. So this is a lot of money. They're spending a lot of money to house the, uh, the, the migrants at the border. Now they're planning to spend a lot of money on the Central American, on these, uh, uh, these governments to try and persuade, somehow try and persuade people not to leave and come to the border or keep them, help them with their security. Uh, is this money well spent? No, absolutely not. And let me just start by saying if I was one of these countries and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris offered to show up and fix the problem with a bunch of money, I'd tell them to get away because they've been a disaster for the United States in handling any migration issue. They want to blame these other countries because they can't look in the mirror and wake up and realize that this dedicated and purposeful undoing of all of the Trump border security and enforcement measures is what caused this crisis. And furthermore, if you want to make this migration problem better and fix what's going on in these countries, stop, stop, stop taking their youth, their hardest workers and their best and brightest, their future families away from their countries in mass every single year. These countries will never get better so long as the United States has an open border and is inviting everyone in. It's a recipe for permanent disaster and it's the Biden administration's fault right now that it's happening in such a terrible, terrible way. Yeah, Mike, what I don't understand is you're, sp you're spending all this money supposedly to persuade people to stay uh, in, uh, in Honduras and Guatemala and El Salvador. But at the same time, the message that you're sending to these countries and to these potential migrants is, come on in, right? I mean, that's, that's basically that's literally what Joe Biden said uh, before he took office. You know, you're welcome. Come on in. You're doing everything here, you know, providing uh, illegal immigrants with, um, you know, with, with but just recently we've just seen some new measures to, to stop illegal immigrants being actually prosecuted, being actually, uh, you know, having anything actually done to stop them coming into the country. You're encouraging some states are giving them, offering them money. New York is offering money to, to help, help illegal immigrants. Why on earth, what, 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 what could this possibly do in these countries? countries like Honduras and, uh, and, and Guatemala that is actually going to counteract the attraction for these people of coming to the United States. Absolutely nothing. It is a complete waste of American treasure. It is only because this administration needs to do something and they're refusing to address the actual root cause of the problem, which is their their policy. So they're seeking to blame something other than themselves. This country's too smart for that. They saw that this administration campaigned on promise and instantly acted on undoing all of these things. They shut down ICE. They stopped the border wall. They invited the cartels to drop off kids at the border by ending uh, these Title 42 protections that we had that were previously expelling them. They, they ended the Remain in Mexico program where people had the way to Mexico for their asylum claims to be heard. They're seeking to do something and focus the issue on anything but their own behavior. And for them, even if it comes at a, you know, a bill to the American taxpayer and the hundreds of millions of dollars, they don't care because they're on to the next political uh, talking point. And it's terrible. And they're doing it because they think it helps them in electoral politics yeah. if they instill mass illegal immigration into this country. And it does. And very briefly, Mike, because we've got to go. But that, yeah, that does seem, why are they doing it? It does seem that, you know, they think this presumably benefits them politically. Politically, right? Absolutely. You got to look at the whole picture here. They've been. This is why they're for this over decades and decades. And why now we're we're seeing them push to loosen all voter integrity in this country so illegal aliens can vote. And then the next thing they want to do is give everyone amnesty and the right to vote that that crosses our border illegally because they think American voters aren't enough for them. And so they're ruining you know our sovereignty, our security, and our well-being all because they think that it helps them at the polls. Yeah, Mike Howell, it's an extraordinary situation. And, and by the way, they're even changing the language, so we can't, we're not even allowed to call them illegal aliens or illegal immigrants anymore. We, we've got to be very Orwellian and call them uh, exactly the terms that they decide for. It's an extraordinary state of affairs. But Mike Howell, thanks very much for joining me. Hey, thanks for having me.